Hello. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Today, we are going to be making some toast. I'm pointing at the toaster because that is what's going to help us make toast. The big key for this toast is Vegemite. Yep, you guessed it. The good old vegetable mite, okay? I'm going to show you the appropriate and maybe the best, okay, definitely the best way to have Vegemite on your toast, okay? I'm going to take you through the steps. I'm going to show you my process. Now, the process is going to be different for everyone, okay? And I acknowledge that, but this is my tried and true way of having Vegemite on toast. Okay, we're going to run you through the details. This is where we're going to lay out our food. And then I'm going to eat it at the end so that you know that I'm not bullshitting you and I eat Vegemite on toast this exact way. Okay? Good. Now, to start with, we need some ingredients and utensils. Okay? Now, first up is, what do you reckon? Oh, wait. No. It's bread. Duh. Why do you say a fork? We're literally not even going to use a fork once today. It's bread, okay? I'm going to grab the bread and I'm going to bring it right here so you can see. Bread. Bread. This is bread, okay? We've got some lovely wholemeal. I go for the Abbott's Village Bakery wholemeal as my preference. But you can really do whatever type you want. It could even be white for all I care. I ate white bread a bunch back in the day. I just now prefer wholemeal, at least for toast. For toast, wholemeal is the go, okay? So what we do is we seal this bad boy back up because there are other slices of bread in here that could be used for future pieces of toast. Get the clasp. Oh, so satisfying to clip it back on. A ah, anyway. Now, this is about timing, okay? So as I am getting my bread here, I have now gotten my bread. I'm going to put this bad boy into the toaster. And we're going to do one at a time, okay? That way it stays nice and warm. We're just going to show you one today. But I'm going to have two myself. Okay? Because I'm committed to this Vegemite. Now, I'm going to put it in the toaster. I'm going to pop that down. And once we pop it down, then we use that time to collect all of our other items that are necessary for this task. That task being getting Vegemite onto this bread, bread, toast. Okay? So, I'm going to pop it down. There you go. You can all see that there was once bread there. There is now not bread there because it's in the toaster. Cool. All right. Now, what's the next most important thing? I'm not going to let you guess this one. It's Vegemite, okay? Because that's a silly question. It's absolutely Vegemite. We need it now. So, I'm going to grab the Vegemite and I'm going to prop it right here. Vegemite has been collected. We now open the Vegemite so that it is all prepped and ready for us as soon as we need, okay? Then, what else goes on the toast? Butter. We need butter next. Now, this is the butter that, that we have currently at the moment. And honestly, you could go with any butter here. Just make sure that it's butter or margarine, or what, you know, do whatever you want, okay? This isn't, this video is not about the butter. This video is about Vegemite, okay? We've got a fresh 
tub of butter, butter tub, tub of butter, right here. Uh, so I'm going to throw this away because we don't need that anymore. Now, what would be next? This one might be a surprise. We need some cheese. That's right. You didn't hear me wrong. Cheese. Okay. I'm going to go and grab the cheese and I'll show you. One slice of cheese. Now we have the prepackaged cheese. Um, again, same with the butter. I don't care what cheese you use here. Use any cheese you like. This is just the cheese that we have and the cheese that I'm going to use. But you need it in slice form in some way. Now it could be in a block first and then you slice it. But you need it to end up in some form of slice. It's very, very important that it is a slice once you're ready to place it onto your toast. Two more things. We need a plate so that we can prep our toast with Vegemite. Okay, let's go quick. Okay, we have our plate. Now this is where time is essential because time is running out. I've just bumped the camera. Time is running out because we need to have this while it's still warm. Okay, so now we we take it out. Oh, it's probably a little bit darker than I would have liked. But it's not too bad. It goes darker on one side slightly. So we take the darker side. We grab our knife. We scoop out some butter. Not a lot, but enough. Okay. This process is going to soften up our toast. It's going to make it easier to spread our Vegemite. And it's just going to make that... It's going to create that texture of, uh, you know, nice and juicy sort of soft bread with some salty sort of butter in it, you know, okay? It's just a really good sort of texture, nice and soft, fantastic. Once you have done your under, under layer, that's what we're going to call it, under layer of butter, we're going to take our Vegemite. Now this Vegemite is not fresh and new, I didn't buy it for this video, I eat it, okay, regularly. So now this is where people can get confused. You don't need a lot of Vegemite. Do you see how much Vegemite that is? It's not focusing, but you get the picture, right? Now we're going to take that and we're going to just lightly spread that Vegemite all across our piece of toast. Try and go to the edges, but you don't have to go, you know, crazy overboard reaching all the way, okay? That's fine as it is, right? Just a nice little light covering. Now here comes the big bit, right? Okay. We unwrap this cheese. Now if you've got cheese that's not wrapped, that's fine. You can just place it directly. But what we're going to do, this is very, very important. So listen and watch closely, okay? Do not stuff this part up. We're going to place our cheese on the toast, like so, but we're going to make sure that it is slightly to one side. See, it's closer to this side over here than it is to this side over here. That's because our last bite is going to be right here. So we want to stack up that side as much as we can so we can really really savour that flavour at the end, you know? That sort of thing. So, you need to make sure that the cheese is going to land on your final position of, of bite, okay? That's what we've done there. Because that's the way that I eat my toast. I always end in one spot on the side. Now, you take more Vegemite. If you don't put Vegemite on your cheese, you're a savage and you should not be even eating this in the first place, okay? Good. Now, we take a similar amount of Vegemite, maybe not quite so much, and we're just gonna lightly spread again. Just over the cheese. Now, it should be a little bit easier to spread over the cheese, because cheese has a nice flat surface. It's not all rocky and bumpy like the, the toast or bread would be. Should be nice and easy. And you can, you can cover a little bit more here. We can go a little bit darker. Always remember, unused Vegemite wipes back on the rim. 
that's the way it goes. Here we go. And what are we left with? A gorgeous, fresh slice of toast with Vegemite and cheese. And Vegemite on top of the cheese. It's amazing. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna eat this now, okay? To prove, just make sure that I didn't do this as some bit all right, that I eat this. Here goes. Mmm. Mmm, yeah. Man, I, I needed that. Yeah. Mmm. So as you can see, I've taken a bite from here. This is the side that we angled our cheese on. So the cheese is gonna be left right here at, at the end, okay? Because I'm gonna eat around and then finish back where I started. Now that's just a little idiosyncrasy of mine. I hope that's the right term to use. I should have looked it up before I did. But that's how we do it around here, okay? Another couple of bites. Mmm, yeah, that's the stuff. Now, it is getting a little bit colder than I would like because I'm trying to explain to you the concept of how this is done. But if I was to eat this fresh right out of the toaster, ideally, this is all a very quick process. Bam, 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 toast in, toast out, butter on, Vegemite on, cheese on, Vegemite on top again, and then in you go. And you know, this is nice and simple to make. Anyone can do it, as long as you've got all of the ingredients that are needed. And just so you know, my back is not hurting at all being in this position for this long. Okay. So, see how we're gonna finish up? We've got a bit of crust on the edge. That's why we're gonna finish right here. Nice bit of crust. So you can use it as a handle. A bit like when you would eat pizza with a crust, you have the handle, right? We've got a good solid amount of cheese and we've also got the Vegemite left as well. So this is why I end it in this spot. Could you imagine if we didn't put this cheese slightly to one side and the cheese was say here so the rest of this was all just bread with a little bit of Vegemite on it that's not how we roll around here that'd be a waste okay you gotta think efficiently and provide the best way to savor that flavor so you push it to one side okay final bite but then I'm gonna make another piece for myself, so. Really, is it the final bite when you think about it? Comment what you think. Hmm. Is that the, how do you, I don't know. What's the end result of a chef's kiss? Obviously it's here and then you, you kiss, and then is it just a burr? So, as I finish this final, this final mouthful, let's reflect back on what we've just done. We grabbed our bread, we put it in the toaster, which is stationed behind us, nice and purple. It has four slices available on that one and only one slot works. So it's, it's pretty efficient itself, really. Yeah, we definitely don't need to get a new one. Hmm. But we put it in the toaster. It came out as toast. We had all of our utensils and ingredients gathered. Butter, Vegemite, cheese, Vegemite. That's the order, that's the way it goes. 
like and subscribe for more. Um, I've also been streaming a lot on Twitch. Come and check it out. We have a lot of fun. I don't make Vegemite on toast on stream. I play video games. Cyberpunk, Assassin's Creed, it's good fun. Come hang out. Liam Live 23, there'll be a link in the description and all of my socials and things will be at the end of this video, which is probably in about 10, 15, 30 seconds, something like that. So come check it out. Like and subscribe here, comment more. Um, trying to make more of these, so let's, let's get it going. Um, all right, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.